guys and welcome back to basketball replay <laughs> Fuck, so <we're> gonna... <laughs> hello guys and welcome back to basketball report the best and only basketball podcast in africa and we are continuing continuing with our season preview for uh you know the 30 nba teams and today we are at the memphis grizzlies uh interesting interesting team um some talent, but uh, yeah, you can kick it off. <laughs> okay, so obviously Grizzlies um, rebuilt for a, for a long time. We were struggling, you know, with the Conley and Gasol. And we traded away those guys. They got their man in John Morant. And all of a sudden, they were good. And they were, you know, looking from the outside, looking into the playoffs. And for a couple of seasons now, they've been a very solid team who's been trying to get into the playoffs in the West. And this off season, they made, I think, basically the first move, yeah. and they traded away Valanciunas with Stephen Adams and Eric Breslow, which at the time I did feel like you know it was maybe a, a solid trade, a win win for either team. Um, and then since then they departed away from Eric Breslow. Uh, so basically, it's Stephen Adams, and I think his contract also expiring after this season. Um, so we we'll maybe move on from him as well. So off season wise, uh, they didn't do too much. Uh, we basically have the same roster as last season and to be honest maybe the roster is a little bit worse but I do think that the young players have gotten better yeah. so I mean they may be a better team but yeah I mean I think they're still going to rebuild to be honest yeah it's difficult to say where this team is going to go because I feel like John Morant okay you know he's your guy so he's your main guy your second guy I would say Jaron Jackson Jr yeah. so those are your two big Guys, and then obviously we've got nice filler players like Delon Brooks, Brandon Clark, Carl Anderson, who are good players. But I still think they need another one, you know. Yeah. They yeah. still need another good player. Uh, a good guy can go and say, okay, bang, that's your top three, that's your big three. Those are your three all-stars. That's the guys who's going to compete for this team and you need to build them. The thing is, I think they don't have a lot of trade value at the moment. If you're no, looking no, at no, what no. they have on the team, to be honest. Um, because they're obviously going to keep Jaw and also Jaren Jack- oh, yeah, Jackson Jr. Steven Adams, I think he, he's going to be one season at the team and he's going to go, maybe. Yeah, I think I'd like to open up a little yeah. gap space to get so, some uh, new blood in. You know, not a lot of trading options for them. So I don't know. They are they still need that, like Christian said, that one guy to complete the free, um, you know, big free, if you can say like that. Um, I still think... Oh, to be honest, uh, still looking out from the outside to the playoffs, mm-hmm. I don't think there's, there, especially in the West, how the yeah. West is looking. I mean, they did good, good to get to the playoffs last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually but, won a game against the Jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, but so it wasn't a sweep. Generally. It's also they were but, uh, playing games. Wasn't they playing games? No, yeah. they got through the playing games. Yeah, but the, were they in? Then? It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it's just difficult to see them. They didn't make a lot of changes. And looking at the Golden State, which we know is going to be a lot better this season. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the main competition. The main this competition. Season, yeah. uh, Pelicans is also, I would say, in the mix with the Grizzlies. I would say about the mm-hmm. 6 to 10, I would say, is where I'm going to put the Grizzlies. You know, I think... They can still, maybe, I don't think they're going to go straight into the playoffs this season. I think they may be going to be in a playing games. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite difficult to place them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, say? I mean, obviously <laughs> last season, like, okay, so last season's playing games were basically like the Lakers, Golden State Warriors, Memphis, and like the Spurs. Yeah. So the Spurs have dropped down. And the Warriors, Clay's coming back, so I think we'll go step Lakers, up. Lakers the Lakers also. Lakers will not have as much injuries this season. Um, they also step up. Yeah, so may, they also move out of that bracket. And so that le- basically just leaves the Grizzlies there. Yeah, I think the Pelicans can still go and also yeah, to go up. Make the jump. So, I mean, those are basically the teams I can see in that final spot competing for playoffs. Um, it's just a matter of fact of are we going to see a major jump? from these big guys, um, you know, from the main guys from Russell. Like I said, Ja had a very good rookie season and he won um, Rookie of the Year. And last season, he was very good again. He made another jump forward. 
But is he gonna go from nice young prospect to franchise cornerstone? And I'm not saying he's not at a franchise cornerstone at this stage. It's just like he's going. Yeah. To, oh, is he going to is do, do going, a look up yeah. or a trade? Yeah, you know. Because you know, there's a lot of young players are good, 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 and then it's almost like they stagnate. Are we gonna see him go from being? A good player to a great player to maybe even being a dark horse for an all-star pick this season and the same goes for jaron jackson i mean i like really like jaron jackson mm. jr triple j i mean he gives you defense offense spacing shooting um he's been struggling with injuries so hopefully he can stay fit you can play him as a stretch four you can play him as a at the five really like the options that jaron jackson gives you and i think the combination between him and and, and jar is just a great mix and I think they complement each other fantastically. Yeah. But Steven Adams is also and Steven, I think Steven Adams is going to be good. Don't, yeah. I think it's I would say he's a downgrade for the team in terms of Valentinus. Yeah, shooting wise. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. Valentinus, he gives you nice three point shooting for center. But Steven Adams, he does everything. Um, like we, very you're going to see a lot of pick and rolls, yeah. I promise you this. Yeah, and he's, <laughs> Steven Adams is a very, very efficient player. Yeah. Um, he doesn't miss much. When he shoots, he scores. That's Steven Adams. He gives you good defense. He, he's a, a team-orientated player. He gives you a lot of offensive rebounds, not just defensive rebounds, but offensive rebounds. He's a fantastic rebounder. You know, he's a bank leader. And he doesn't get posted. You know, he's a guy who, who can stand his man in his paint. So I think for the defense, he's an anchor for this team. Um, the only issue is, obviously, he's yeah. going to clog the paint a little bit. He doesn't score too but much. But, but his, his screens is really good. Yeah, he's a really good, like I said, you know, he, he's a very good player, I think, for Jar. Yeah. Who he can just put in, open up that, that space for Jar to go into, and as well just for Jar to pick him out in the paint, you know, a lot of lobs, um, because he's got he's got a nice soft touch around the rim for yeah. a seven-foot guy. So, like I said, obviously, I'm, I'm very biased towards Stephen Adams <laughs> because he played for OKC. And um, I really do like Steven Adams as a player, one of my favorite players. But on a, you know, objective note, he is a good player. I think he can help his team out tremendously. But like we just said, they still need that one guy. But I would say my final prediction, playoff team, first round exit, and that's it. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I think they, yeah, they need to make moves. We'll see. I, like I said... Trading in that, you know, I think they're going to maybe move Steven Adams, make some space and, you know, get somebody through free agency, which should be the logical thing to do. Because they're obviously a good team, not going to get a high pick. And um, I think maybe next year we're going to see another uh, yeah, I jump. think next year yeah. is going to be the make or break season. season yeah, this definitely. season, I think, is still just climbing. Climbing, yeah. Developing the players that you have on the yeah. roster and just looking into the future rather than, you know, looking into this season. Yeah. But like I said, good team, good potential, very solid, very young. Let's hope that team can stay fit and it's one of the most entertaining teams to watch in the NBA. Yeah. Um, so I think it's it's a good vibe around the team. Yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, you know, yeah, where are they going to place the Grizzlies? What do you think about Joe? Is he going to make that jump? And, uh, you know, and also Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, so, yeah, let us know. Thanks for watching. And as always, hit that jumper. <laughs>